making money, doing what you love. Sounds good. That's what I'm doing. But I don't want to do this all my freaking life. And for me not to do this all of my freaking life, I have to trust someone to do it for me. And oh my God, employees, whew, let's talk about them. I love this job. I'm the owner. I'm the boss. But I do every damn thing and it gets tiring. I love to do it, but it gets tiring. My dream is to go around the world full time buying up cars, shipping them back here. Because when you're going around the world, it's like a big vacation. For example, when I went to London, Brussels, Amsterdam, and Paris, oh my goodness, that was fun. I loved it. There was zero stress. Uh, everything went awesome. But I had to leave my shop in other people's hands when I was gone. For the most part, it turned out good. When I got back, Everything with those sets of employees fell through. I mean, no matter how much you give them, because I pay them good, no matter how much you give them, it's not enough. It's like they're jealous or something, and they see you go off to these places, and they're like, hmm, why am I not going? I'm going to stay here and run his business and make him money I mean that's what you get paid for right that's the mentality of a bad employee now there are some good employees now I've had some good employees like I have one now that comes in whenever he can maybe once a week that's the problem but he's a good employee he uh he rocks he does everything good, uh, he's smart, he gets it. But the problem is, he's also a volunteer firefighter, and he works at a nursing home, and they pay him $50 an hour. Who am I to tell him don't go to that nursing home job and come and work for me for $15, $16 an hour? I, I, I just won't do that. I just can't do that because I won't. I genuinely want people to better themselves. So it's, it's really hard to juggle employees. I was told one time when I was paying employees pennies, well, if you pay them more... If you pay them what they're worth, they're better employees. That, my friend, is not true. Because I've been on both sides of the fence. I've been on a, the side where I pay my employees very little. I've been on the side where I pay my employees very good. And it just doesn't work out. And that sucks. My employees now, I have one part-time and then three full-times. The full-time I just hired, unfortunately, he's going to leave in a couple of weeks. And, and he's got a good head on his shoulder. He's got a brain. Um, and he does what he's told. Uh, but he will leave in a couple of weeks. And then... I have a husband and wife team, and the husband is great, 
100% does exactly what he's told and he's a good employee but judging from his previous job experiences if he gets something better offered to him he's gone so it it is very hard to keep employees very hard and especially when you own a car lot because here's what happens when you own a car lot and you have employees they will bug you to death on every single car you get in I mean they have to have it okay and when they, when you finally give them a car to drive they're gonna pay for it they're gonna take it out of their check okay so you're thinking in your head well your payments are guaranteed because it's taken out of their check but then when they get their check they're like well we get this oh it, it, it it's not the same it is definitely not the same as them paying someone else but paying you where they work if their paycheck is five hundred dollars and their car payments three hundred dollars and then you hand them two hundred dollars oh my gosh it's like the end of the world for them uh and and their brain don't don't calculate well you would have to be paying someone else that too you know what i mean like and then you get in another car and they want to trade it in it, it is a absolute disaster i had an employee and he was a good employee and, but he traded in all the time traded in traded in and he traded in so much his payment was like half his paycheck and then he quit and turned in all the cars and left because he wasn't getting enough but he's making the same amount of money at his new job that he made in this job it is absolutely craziness folks crazy i've been hiring and firing employees since 2015 and i will tell you there's no formula okay you either find a good one or you don't and that good one may be good for a while but chances are it's going to turn into shit. So basically, you're picking up some mud and you're throwing it at the wall and seeing what sticks. That's unfortunate, but that's true. No secret formula, no, no magic words, no golden nuggets. <laughs> There's nothing in the employment department here. When you're a business owner, you have a heap load of responsibilities. It's your job to make money. And you see things that employees will never see. And you cannot train them to see these things that's going to make you money, that's going to benefit you. Most of them will be like, what is the easiest path to Friday? the easiest path to a paycheck and that is one of the reasons why I started the partner program because when I started the partner program uh, even though it fell on its face because we got too many people in that partner program we had over 60 people when we had 10 people it was absolutely fantastic but you know that greed got to you you got to get more partners more partners there was never no end of partnerships but for a while when we had like like 10 people oh my god everything ran absolutely smooth people moved down here to be at their lot because they was partners it was freaking excellent it was awesome but you have to make them a partner 
and I don't know if I want to cross that bridge again. Turn over that rock. I mean, good God. It is what it is, folks. But that's when you see the difference in people, when they own a little chunk of it. How minute chunk they owned, but they were owners. So, I guess you can say that there is a solution. Make them part owner. But there's a lot of drawbacks in that. Yeah, oh no sky here. She is my right hand. She never leaves my side. The one that you just saw, the Old English Sheepdog, his name is Frosty. That's two of my five dogs. I love dogs. And uh, there goes Sky. She, uh, here's Mama pulling up. <sighs> Good God. Anyway, I would like to thank y'all for stopping in and listening to my rambling. Uh, hopefully you got some good information. God bless y'all. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And we just passed 1,500 subscribers. We're on our way to 2,000, baby. Thank y'all. I love y'all. Bye-bye.